<laughs> Cheers. Oh, don't let me forget. I want to say, I should have done this earlier, but I forgot. Misanthropic 66 gives her regards to you all that she's been away from her computer. She's away from technology. And, um, and uh, she just wanted to say hi. Hi to all of you. And we miss you, Miss Anthropic 66 and look forward to you coming back and commenting on the videos and just being around creating mischief. And I want to uh, uh, give a serious plug, a real like push. I want to encourage you. Excuse me. If you haven't seen the video, watch it. If you've already seen it, go back and watch it again. But to Lisa Productions, uh, part two of the Kong Sanction. Check it out. She put a lot of hard work into that, a lot of editing. And um, an actual, actually, as far as YouTube goes, she's one of the closest examples of, uh, of real um, a narrative filmmaking. Okay? All right. And it was a lot of fun. I can't help but say I'm a little disappointed that, uh, that um, I call that assassin killer sexy. The killer sexy will no longer be pursuing Citizen Kong. Um, I don't know where the story will lead that she'll be going after somebody else. But having killer sexy on my tail made life a little more interesting. <laughs> so here's to you, killer sexy. Cheers. Oh, looks like we're going to be ready for some new uh, more Guinness. And I'm really feeling it. Yes, yes I am. Is that part of the entertainment? Watching as I start out sober and getting a little bit... <laughs> the tongue starts flowing a little little more uh, <laughs> rapidly. J123108. And his theme is Party All Night. And he calls himself a comedian. And uh, didn't get a chance to watch your videos, but I am glad that you subbed. And... If for some reason you think that Citizen Kong should sub to you, give me a reason to and I will. All right. Cheers. Harper's Outlaw 1. Thank you for subbing Harper's Outlaw 1. And I know this is part of the, uh, um, the, 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 uh, the SCOD group. And uh, basically it's, it's a green organization. And uh, it doesn't say officially that it's on here. But it says, films from local filmmakers and stole galleries. And um, so thank you for subbing Harper's Outlaw 1. And uh, Kiko37. <laughs> this is a hoot. I, if you want to laugh, well, you know, a little bit of mirth and a little bit of merriment. Go check out Kiko37. This woman lives in Hong Kong. And she just seems so happy. And she just gets a kick out of like dancing in front of the camera to different songs. And she is really, really fun, I'd have to say. You know? And uh, I don't want to see any haters going there because she's, she's, uh, she's sexy in her own way and a lot of fun. And uh, makes you want to rethink the East just a bit, doesn't it? Advocate 26. Thank you for subbing, Advocate 26. And um, I, th I suppose that she, Durango, Mexico. And I, she posts a lot of videos, it looks like, of some uh, Spanish language soap opera that deals with lesbians. Perhaps that's what she's advocating, lesbianism. Well, here's to me, Citizen Kong, advocating lesbianism. As long as they're nice to me. They're not mean lesbians. Cheers. Here's to Advocate uh, 26. Cheers. Now, sometimes I got to wonder why people sub to me. Because I know they're not really watching my videos. and um, Or are they? I don't know. And um, I'm going to open up another one of these. Guinness Drought. And uh, for those of you that are not... These guys came up with this really cool idea. There's, there's a thing they call the widget inside, and it, it has compressed CO2 in it. And when you pop this lid, it releases the CO2, apparently. I'm guessing it's CO2. Maybe it's nitrogen. I don't know. 
I wouldn't bet on it, but there's some type of gas in the little widget. We tore open a can once and took the widget out. It's a little, little plastic disc that's hollow. It's got something in it. And when you, when you pop this open, the widget releases its gas, and it's supposed to duplicate the, um, the, uh, what you would get from a, a, a fresh-drawn Guinness. I heard of a new movement with, uh, with the beer aficionados, the people that love beer. And back in the old days, they didn't use compressed CO2 to force uh, the beer through the lines. And I've talked to uh, old Brits that say still in the UK, they have these hand-drawn pumps. And that's why you see those really long handles. It's, it's because it's not compressed. It's like a pump. And it's pumping the beer out of the keg or barrel. And so there's a movement in the United States of really hardcore uh, beer or brewer aficionados to bring that back. And they say that it, it, it imparts a different taste to it. So I'd be curious to try it. So there we go. The bubbles are rising. And you know, Guinness should not be too cold. You know, they always say like the Brits drink their warm their beer warm. Well, that's not entirely true, but it's like it's not ice cold like American beer. And for those of you that are wine tasters or anybody that's a, uh, a person that's a fan of tastes, when something is cold, it kills the taste buds. In fact, American beer needs to be cold because it doesn't taste good when it's at a different temperature, you know? You can take cheap, cheap wine and chill it and it goes down easier. Whereas a good, fine red wine, you serve at room temperature, not, not warm, but just slightly, maybe slightly below room temperature. There's something about chilling that kills the taste buds. Anyways, here's to you all. Cheers. Am I babbling too much? I mean, you know, maybe this is not the best Faz night. It's hard to gauge when I'm doing it, you know, whether it's entertaining or not. But um, anyway, thanks for subbing Advocate 26. You know, like for, for a while there, I was really thinking about uh, not visiting everybody's channel and, and uh, talking about it. But I couldn't help it. It's like, it, it's like a habit, you know? I try to just go like down the list. Um, Tommy Two Guns. Once again, this uh, little mafia war, this bunch of gangsters has uh, sparked a lot of new channels and channels of people that know me. And uh, so it added to the subscribers list a little bit. And there we are. We're at the end of Tommy Two Guns. Tommy Two Guns here. Anyone screws with the boss and they answer to me and my friends. Say hello to all my little friends. Rat-a-tat-tat-tat-tat. And I think when he's talking about the boss, excuse me, he's talking about the angry dummy, I believe. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Watch, I won't edit that out. <laughs> you know, all week I felt like I've been coming down with something. And another funny, another interesting thing, or is it interesting, but guys, you guys out there that you know, that maybe maybe some girls maybe even experienced it for those that wax and things like that. But you ever get an ingrown hair? Well, my nose has felt a little bit sore, and I noticed I had an ingrown hair right on the inside of my nostril. Oh, isn't that disgusting? Why am I sharing that? <laughs> because I have nothing to talk about. Uh, but anyway, I found it just in time before it got really out of hand. But that's the first time in my life I've ever had an ingrown hair in my nostril. Go figure. <laughs>